All right, gang, here's the GS450 bike. 1980 that I picked up. Um, to set the timing, which the timing was totally off if you looked at my previous video, the um, valves were hitting the pistons, so you couldn't rotate the engine from here to get that to completely rotate. just wouldn't do it because they were hitting. So to, uh, to adjust the timing chain, what I did was I backed out these two these two 10 millimeter bolts not completely out because there's a piece on the other side if you back them out completely it's going to fall in there and then you got a new headache so just back them out because that's like a, a mini chain tensioner for up here and then I undid these two 10 millimeter bolts here and I completely removed that to remove that, you have to remove the cover for the starter. That's easy stuff. And uh, once those are removed, there's a lot more play in this chain. And then what I did is I unscrewed these 10 millimeter bolts, all four, and lifted those out. I didn't completely unscrew them from the head here. I just got them uh, up so I could raise that up and then I could get the chain completely off and rotate this into this position. You can see that notch right there and that notch right there. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little arrow. It's gonna be like a little number two there with an arrow and like a number one here with an arrow. God, really, really hard to see. really hard to see and if, if you between those is going to be like 18 pins and I got online and I printed myself a little document here and you can see there's the number two with an arrow there's the number three with an arrow and between those two is 18 pins if you count 18 pins and you've got these two notches lined up notch one notch two you basically have the timing set and uh, and then make the adjustment down here which is related to here and uh, that should get it all adjusted so that uh, you can take your 19 millimeter bolt and just rotate that and you can see it's just completely rotating all the way around. And, and 316, we're back to the correct orientation on those notches. And, uh, and that, that, that does the timing. So next we'll be putting the new uh, coils on and seeing if we have spark at the plugs and then we'll Put some fuel in the carburetors, see if those will fire. But when you're putting these bolts on, these 10 millimeters, uh, just do a little bit of a turn on each all four so they're not all completely sunk at, at the same at one at a time. You slightly sink that one, slightly sink that one, slightly sink that one, slightly sink that one. And uh, so they're all entering the head at the same amount of, of revolutions. Otherwise, it's going to damage it and it and uh, you don't want that anyway gang if you have any questions there's really not a whole lot on the internet send me an email or leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can help you out or find an answer but that was the way to do it you undid this over here back those out the two 10 millimeters and remove this whole assembly here the two 10 millimeters and that'll give you enough play here with the chain that you can undo these two and undo those two and uh, pull the chain off that sprocket and then rotate these into position. I'd rotate this into position here with down here, have that ready to go, and then that one's the one you're gonna physically move and get it to where you want it. 
and uh, it's it's really not that tough. It's kind of intimidating if you look on the internet and you've never done this before, and there's no information. Well, here's the information, and this should be the same for all these models that have a similar setup. So there it is, gang. And uh, I don't know since last time I put a battery on.